22. O'Sullivan, so reliable in this sort of situation. Well, 23. He's furious because uh, he was robbed of that uh, great frame clinching chance by that thunderous kick. No wonder he smacked his fist on the table in exasperation. I think the kick was just about the only thing that could have happened to make him break down. And you're Sullivan, 23. So O'Sullivan lost position with that kick and uh, we have time to show you where the cue ball would have been, courtesy of Hawkeye, without the kick. Couldn't see a path back to Bork, but if you're going to play it, resting the cue ball against the top cushion, you've got to get it tight on the top cushion. Just looking at this arena. Okay, Ali Carter played four sessions in the semi final, but this is the final of the World Championship. He left Ronnie the shot and he's missed it and Ronnie looking to see if this red just below the pink will go into the right middle. If it does, it's an easy starter. Very important this red would go. As I say, the balls are nicely situated. An easy starter is just what you're looking for. And now a good chance. Came to the table 45 points behind. This would be a good frame to win. Not a sitter, but I just wonder whether O'Sullivan was suffering from some residual irritation or his loss of position Eight. at his previous visit to, to the table through no fault of his own. Nine. Well, I'd be a little bit disappointed with that. He's just let the cue ball slip away. He should have been straight on 15. this red. I think you'll be able to haul for the pink. He was just okay. Sixteen. But now all the reds in the open have gone. He needs good close control of this cue ball. Thank Ideal you. scenario now in rolling this red in, you could kiss the red that's to the left of the blue. Because that red's a little bit awkward. He had that angle. 23. So that developed uh, what could have been a tricky red. He's yeah, just giving this a bit of thought, and I understand why. Perfect. That was the shot and it was worth the risk because if he'd have missed the cannon, he'd still been on the one to the left middle. 
It's set fair now. Just a case of holding yourself together. Thank you. 29. Carter playing with uh, renewed form and hope, it seems to me. straighter on this red it would have been easier 36. well that's always been the way in this game Clive you know when you sat there and you think your opponent's in he's going to win the frame and then all of a sudden you come back to the table it gives you a little bit of new lease of life because from 37. a few shots ago he was thinking he'd lost this frame now he can win it Forty-two. Once again, just let that cue ball slip. You know, if it had been straighter, he could have held nicely for the blue. Forty-three. Now he needs a good angle on this green because this red, not being in the middle of the table, is just a little bit more difficult to get on. So this could be 46. the key shot. If he can pop this red, get nicely on the colour, frame at his mercy. 47. Good shot, that. There's lots of pressure out there at the moment. This is a big, big frame. Played to perfection. Eight points for lead. Up to and including the blue. Fifty-eight. So that kick that Ronnie O'Sullivan had when he was in amongst the balls could have cost him this frame. Just 62. the blue needed, and boy, has he taken these well. The untimely kick that O'Sullivan suffered was undoubtedly the turning point. Of that frame. 73. Carter still had to pop the balls, though. <laughs> and he has done so. Oh, he clears God. with 80. He reduces O'Sullivan's lead to 8-5. Carter has won three of the last four frames. And you can almost see the self-belief beginning to course through Ali Carter's veins there. That was a big frame for him, Steve. Yes, the most important frame so far for Ali Carter in that match. That will give him back his belief. Uh, the kick slaughtered Ronnie O'Sullivan during that. It could have been uh, the other way, this frame, so easily. Ronnie O'Sullivan just rolling through, as we've seen so many times before. Chalk between the two balls. Possibly you saw a bit of chalk on the white ball there. Show of frustration. He played a great safety shot. He got another chance, but then he missed the red into the middle. And Ali Carter made a fantastic clearance. And the kick, well, so often it sees in snooky, it plays its part. But what a great clearance by Absolutely, Ali Carter. Yeah. John, we've talked about Ali Carter's fatigue potentially, but mm. we haven't really addressed the fact that Ronnie played what was described by Stephen Henry as perfect snooker to win his semi-final.